Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a two week update review on my wig that I purchased like <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> um, this wig is by Lost, mm, sorry, Vanessa Hair Company and this is Lost Jayton. This wig was about $21 on Sam's Beauty and I am in love with this wig. I've gotten her a couple of times already. This is the color 99J. You might not be able to see it because my camera is a little wonky. I'm using my phone camera so I do apologize but <laughs> this is what the wig looks like. Um, let me try to make it look more presentable. Okay there we go. So this is this is kind of what you get when you get this wig. Um, it does get like it grows like it, it starts off with just kind of like curly but not so big but it just it just keeps growing and growing and growing which is I love it you know I've always worn big hair like I've been wearing my hair big since 2011 believe it or not so I wasn't one of those people that jumped on a bandwagon when big hair became popular I've always just loved big hair so with that being said um, this is kind of what it looks like all right, sorry about that. I like got distracted for just a second. Um, so yeah, I got this. I believe we already spoke that we got it off of Sam's Beauty. This and that. Um, so yeah, a little bit about this wig. Just like any other wig, most wigs these days anyway. Um, there's a comb in the front, a comb in the back, and drawstrings. So this is about how much like comb space you get though. It's like probably like I don't know. I just try to show you in my head. I, I tried, but it's about this much comb space in the front and in the back. So, how I feel about that, um, I don't really like it because I feel like when you're, like, doing your hair, it feels so freaking loose. Like, do you see that? Like, sometimes I put bobby pins in it because, like, if I'm good, wind comes, like, it can just, like, blow my wig off if I really wanted to. Like, <laughs> or if, what if someone just doesn't like me or something, you know, just, so, you know, I just really, um, I just really don't like that it's, like, not enough comb space and the wig is huge huge like it's big head friendly so that's good but at the same time like I said it's just so much space that I feel is left to just do anything to and I don't care for that at all but you know still a good buy like it's still only $21 and it blends with my hair so good um actually like I would need to put more water in it for it to blend better because this is my hair and this is that it usually does blend really well but um sometimes throughout the day like it just kind of gets my my real hair doesn't blend with the wig but you know that's not the wig's fault so um how I usually style this wig is I get my I get like my edge control and I have black edge control from Cantu no no no, no it's not Cantu it's a different product I'll show you guys in another video but I usually get my edge control and just slip that down and slip the other side down and then I put two bobby pins on the side just to secure it and then I'm done um yeah, so that though, that's just a little bit about the specs. So the pros of this hair would be that it's really big and it looks super natural. And it feels really natural too, in my opinion. But the cons is that it sheds like crazy. Like, guys, let me tell you. Like, this wig, as soon as you take it off and when you start finger combing it, it's just, it sheds so much. And, you know, most people will agree that that doesn't really matter in wigs because, you know, most wigs shed and it only costs a couple of dollars but this thing will shed until you basically stop wearing it like it doesn't shed everywhere but when you just break your hair through it and pull it out there's so much each time you do it so i don't really care for that aspect it's a little annoying but other than that you know it is what it is and unfortunately one more con would be that when i wear my hair on my headline like hairline like basically well not hairline but what i'm trying to say is when i this is my hair and this is the wig basically it's like a big old like kind of dent in the middle and it itches like it just it's just like crazy but I mean I don't know if that's the wig's fault or if that's me being my head being like hair being like just I don't know if my I'm just sensitive because I'm a very sensitive person sometimes when it comes to that but it is what it is so that's my review about it. Um, this is like, I wear it in the middle like this sometimes. And you, it just looks so natural. Like I just, I love this wig. Like even though like I just named the cons, I still run out and get this wig because this is about the most natural wig that you're going to get that looks kinky curly. Because I'll trade a minikin and stuff. Like it's pretty, but the, it's not kinky. Like it's just really just like curly hair. 
and let's be honest most black women don't have hair like that they have hair like this so that's why i like this so freaking much but that's what this looks like in the middle it does take a while like i said this hair is very like thick and it's very realistic looking so that's kind of how it looks in the back if i showed you good <laughs> and then the other side so that's what it looks like in the middle and the other side how it looks I like side parts a lot I feel like it slims down my face it's my hair and with my hair I just kind of like tuck things under just like swoosh so that's what it looks like on the side and mind you this is only two weeks like it looks to me it looks pretty good for it to be two weeks so that's what it looks like it's really big y'all like it's super big but it's it's worth it definitely worth it and if you wanted to cut some layers into it you could definitely do that I'm not a layers type of girl like I really just kind of rock it how the wig comes like depending what it is and I just do my thing with that so it's up to you you could definitely style this or put it half up half down you know the normal styles that everyone likes to do with that it's just it's pretty see more it's a little shedding going on but it doesn't bother me you know I've worn wigs for years like I've been wearing wigs since 2012 so they don't they don't bother me when it sheds like I just feel like it's just a natural part of wearing wigs just as long as it doesn't shed too much like that's I mean like like I said this one does but at least it doesn't shed on me it, it sheds only when you finger comb it so yeah um I think I've explained everything about this wig um enough I don't want to take too much time on this video so that's just what this wig is i i love it myself um i've gotten her in so many different colors like i got her in a dr 27 i've gotten her in a 1b i've gotten her in this one the 99j and i think that's it but you know yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna go now and if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe if you want um see more of my videos and all that good stuff so yeah thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day bye guys <laughs>